Of the over 600 species of venomous snakes on the planet, about 200 can cause real damage. Even with those odds, if you're afraid of snakes, that's smart. Snakes have quite a reputation for being aggressive and attacking humans, even when unprovoked. Their mere presence is intimidating, and they're the last animals you want to mess around with. Let's not count the non-venomous snakes out either. Those can cause just as much damage. You already know not to provoke them, but what do you do when you come across them in your home or walking down a street? You may not have enough time to even think about it. Some of the people in this video didn't. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today, we're going to take a look at 10 of the biggest snakes ever found. To it. Number 10, the yellow anaconda in Altamira. Some workers in a construction site were conducting a controlled explosion in the Altamira Caves in Brazil. After the explosion, they found a 33-foot yellow anaconda lying in the debris. It weighed around 400 kilograms and was 16 inches in diameter. The workers chained it to a crane and lifted it out of the rubble, which was a dangerous move. But it seemed to work out as they were all quite unharmed. Yellow anacondas are actually native to the South American region. It is one of the world's largest snakes, but still smaller than its cousin, the green anaconda. It's non-venomous, but that doesn't make it any less deadly. Yellow anacondas are constrictors, which means they coil around its prey and hold them tight until the prey suffocates to death. They don't always go the suffocation route, though. They usually prefer to attack prey from the water, so their victims more often drown than suffocate. They'll eat anything they can catch, really, fish, amphibians, capybara, and even other snakes. The workers in this situation were in actual danger, because a snake this size can definitely unhinge its jaw enough to eat a man. And that would have kept this guy going for weeks without another meal. Number 9. The Indian Python, Penang Island In Penang Island, Malaysia, a 26-foot Indian python was found in a construction site. The workers spotted it while constructing a flyover in Paya Terubang, a tourist haven on the island, and it took around half an hour just to trap the snake. It seems this crew has come across many snakes during their construction work, so they fed the snake some meats, mice, and gave it water. They let the snake go shortly after, but it died three days later, after giving birth. An investigation was conducted since dying after giving birth is highly abnormal. Some security camera footage was found of one of the workers kicking the snake. Researchers say that this could have caused some internal injuries, which led to its death. Number 8. The Burmese Python, Florida Florida is known for its amusement parks, orange groves, beaches, and swamps. Practically anywhere you venture out to in Florida, you are bound to come across a swamp ecosystem, which is home to many animals you definitely don't want to see while out on a nature hike. These hunters in Florida captured an 18-foot-long Burmese python, weighing 63 and a half kilos. Look at the size of that. I definitely don't want to have to catch anything like that. These snakes are not native to the swamps. But they went there after their natural habitat was destroyed in a hurricane in 1992. When the snake was found, it was pregnant and had 73 eggs inside it. This snake didn't hurt anyone, but it is definitely a deadly species. They are typically nocturnal rainforest dwellers and tend to be quite solitary except when it's mating season. Though native to South Asia, the Burmese python is known to be an invasive species. They established a breeding population in the Everglades National Park and compete with the native wildlife for food, which consists of mammals, birds, and other reptiles. In their short time there, they have managed to destroy the mammal population and threaten its biodiversity. They have no natural predator, so now the barriers to hunting them has been removed. Hunters can now kill Burmese pythons and any other invasive species on private lands all year, without a permit or a hunting license. Number 7. The Reticulated Python, Kansas City Reticulated pythons are also native to South and Southeast Asia. However, it is an excellent swimmer and has managed to colonize small islands within its range. This one in particular went much further. In 2011, a 25.2-foot-long, 158-kilo reticulated python was discovered in Kansas City, Missouri. Officials estimated the age of the python to be around 10 years old. 
The snake was adopted by Full Moon Productions, an entertainment company in Kansas, and named Medusa. She is currently the longest snake in captivity. She consumes rabbits, deer, and hogs once every two weeks and can manage a good 40 pounds in just one sitting. As much as Medusa may be a part of the Full Moon family and look tame, I don't think I will be hanging around her too much. If you think that's crazy, you definitely want to stick around to see which snake made it to the number one spot on the list. Number 6. Papawan Python, Indonesia 26-year-old Akbar from Indonesia was harvesting palm oil on his family farm, but didn't return home that night. Neighbors said they heard some screams and struggling late in the evening, and the authorities started looking around. They found a 30-foot Papawan python, not far from the fields, resting there. It looked like it had just had quite a large meal, and the authorities were concerned as they saw the shape of a boot bulging out of the snake's stomach. They cut the python open, and sure enough, Akbar's body rolled out. Human-animal encounters are quite common in Indonesia, as it contains Asia's largest expanse of rainforests. These forests are home to many a wild animal, from tigers and rhinos to bats, and of course, snakes. The rapid destructions of the forest only increases the rate of these incidents, as humans continue pushing into these predators' natural habitats. Number 5. African Rock Python, New Brunswick, Canada African rock pythons are native to sub-Saharan Africa, and like all pythons, they are constrictors. Their prey, however, are known to die from heart attacks rather than suffocation. Like the Burmese python, it is quite an invasive species. They have been discovered in places as far as the Florida swamps. It was already overrun by the Burmese python, which are known to even eat alligators, and the African rock pythons didn't make it any better. As one scientist put it, they're so mean, they come out of their eggs striking. They can be very ill-tempered, so you definitely don't want to try and keep them captive. Well, this particular python was caught and kept in an enclosed space in an apartment in New Brunswick, Canada. The 20-foot snake managed to escape its glass cage by climbing up to the ceiling and crawling through the air vents, right on top of two boys, Noah, aged 4, and Connor, who was going to turn 7. The snake came crashing down from the ceiling, and the boys were found dead the next morning. When found, the snake was still with the boys. This definitely isn't the only incident. A 10-year-old boy in Africa was reportedly killed and swallowed in 2002, and a 3-year-old boy was strangled in Centralia, Illinois in 1999. Number 4. Scrub Python, Queensland, Australia This snake was found in a rainforest natural park in Queensland, Australia. Well, if there's one thing Australia is famous for, it's having the most dangerous and bizarre animal life. Scrub pythons can grow to be 25 feet long, but that's quite rare. A 16-foot-long snake of this species is considered large and still rare in the rainforest area where it was found. Two rainforest keepers were driving along and saw what they thought was a fallen tree branch. They approached it, and as they moved closer, they found out it was this python. Oh boy, if I saw something that looked like a branch and it started moving, I would hightail it right out of there. Number 3. Boa Constrictor Red Lobster, North Carolina As if Red Lobster wasn't exciting enough already, the chain employees in North Carolina found a 22-foot-long boa constrictor in the woods behind the restaurant. Officials said it couldn't have been free for very long, or it wouldn't have survived. Since these snakes are native to South America, there was no reason for it to be there unless it was someone's pet. In fact, boa constrictors are frequently kept and bred in captivity. It is a staple of private collections and public displays. When the officials came to take it away, it wasn't aggressive, but like most animals, was trying to get away. Before we move on, we've got a challenge for you. In the next five seconds, go ahead and subscribe to the Four Evergreen channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when we upload next, and you will automatically learn a new musical instrument. Give it a shot, it works. All right. Now let's take a look at number two, Diamondback Rattlesnake, Florida. The Diamondback Rattlesnake, or Texas Diamondback as it's also called, is a venomous rattlesnake species commonly found in the south of the United States and Mexico. It is also likely to be the cause of the most snake bites in these regions, as they are one of the more aggressive rattlesnake species in the US. 
They stand their ground when confronted and rattle to warn aggressors. If that doesn't work, they strike. You definitely don't want to come across this guy while on a hike, but as we said before, you pretty much have to expect it in Florida. In July 2017, Kathy Terry caught a diamondback rattlesnake on her camera in Florida. She said the creature was long enough to take up three quarters of the width of a two-lane road. If she hadn't spotted the snake before stepping out of her caravan, she might have stepped on it. She shared this video as a caution to the other residents to be careful when walking about, or even when gardening in their homes. Good thing too, because diamondback venom is a potent hemotoxin that kills red blood cells and causes tissue damage. It can be fatal to humans if not treated immediately. We're now going to take a quick break to see today's subscriber pick. If you come across a mysterious photo online and you want us to take a look, be sure to send it over. We might even feature it in a future video. That is a massive snake. We're not sure how people are standing around it so casually. It can't be safe or even smart to do that, but a snake that large definitely exists. Let's take a look at the number one most giant snake ever found. Number one, Congo Giant Snake. Stories of enormous reptiles are quite frequent throughout the more tropical regions of the world. Many unclear photos and questionable testimonies come out of these places, most commonly from South America and Africa. Well, this particular instance was different. Colonel Remy von Leard was a Belgian pilot who served in the Second World War as an Air Force pilot. In 1959, he commanded the airbase at Kamina in Congo. And while returning from a mission by helicopter, saw a giant Congo snake emerging from a hole. He described the snake as being close to 50 feet in length, making it the largest snake ever reported. When he found this, he turned around and slightly dove to get a closer look and allow the other person on board to take a few photos. As he did so, the snake rose up about 10 feet, looking ready to strike if they got any closer. The colonel is considered a reliable eyewitness, and many experts have analyzed the pictures and agreed it is, in fact, authentic. They got close enough to see the color of the snake, which led experts to believe this may have been an anaconda. Well, that's it for the 10 largest snakes ever found in the world. I will be locking my windows and doors tonight, and I'm not venturing out into the woods anytime soon. If you like this video, check out our video on the 10 most beautiful snakes in the world.